So now you know how um, you have you know how to customize. You have an overview of all the question types. Now we're going to begin populating our form. So we're going to begin with a multiple choice question. Uh, the example that I'm going to give is for math, but it's pretty straightforward how we can use a multiple choice question for other uh, disciplines. Um, so we're going to add new question and we're going to choose a multiple choice question. Now, like I mentioned, we want to use we want to, it's a, it's a math question, right? And now Microsoft has um, math editor directly in forms. So you could use it by simply selecting math. And that's gonna allow us to create a question directly, uh, a math question directly without using external uh, tools. So once I add my question, I simply click on um, this little box and you'll notice that the um, math keyboard um shows up if i wanted to i can also add text but obviously we want to have a math question right so we're going to use the math keyboard so once i enter my equation microsoft suggests and uh, makes some suggestions so i can choose to add all or put my own options in this case i'm going to add all okay and now there's a few ways that i can play around with this question okay i'm not finished with this question so I can add another option if I'm dissatisfied. Uh, I can add feedback. Here it's like, uh, fantastic. Oh, great job. I can do that for the distractors as well if I wanna have like a little bit of reinforcement, like, you know, good try. I can also uh, add points if I wanna wait, you know, give this weight. I can have the, the students provide multiple answers. I can make the question required. I can also shuffle the questions uh, and add branching, which is a sexy feature that we're going to look at in um, later videos. I can also copy the question if I have another multiple choice question and I just want to like I'll copy the question and like, you know, customize it after. Uh, I can move my question up or down or if I'm just dissatisfied with my question, I can just delete it. So now you know how to create and customize a question and how to use the math keyboard. In the next video, we're going to list, we're going to learn how to um, add a section and an image uh, to quiz.